function is the most important concept in calculus. Therefore, it is crucially important for you to really understand this concept. A function is defined to describe a relation between two variables. The two variables are most commonly represented by x and y, although they can be other symbols or letters. To be called a function, this relation between the two variables must be that the change of one variable, normally y, depends on the other variable, normally x. Note that the key to the function is this depending relation. x is known as the independent variable or the input, and y is known as the dependent variable or the output. Let's look at some examples. A function can be described verbally. For example, here's a sentence. Today's gas price is $3.5 per gallon. Therefore, how much I pay for gas equals to $3.5 multiplied by how many gallons of gas I purchase. This sentence clearly describes the relation between two variables. How much I pay for gas depends on how many gas I purchase. Therefore, this is a function. In this case, gallons of gas is the independent variable, and gas money is the dependent variable. A function can be described using a table as well. For example, many of us might check the weather broadcast every day and see some table like this, which tells us what the temperature is at a different time of the day. In this case, the temperature changes depending on what time it is, not the other way around. Therefore, the time here is an independent variable, and the temperature is the dependent variable. By the way, unless specially defined for what particular reason, time is always an independent variable. Think about it: time keeps on flowing no matter what; it never depends on anything else. A function can also be described using a graph. For example, we have probably all seen a stock chart. Which records how stock price changes with time. In this case, again, the time is the independent variable, and the stock price is the dependent variable. Also, a function can be represented by an algebraic equation. For example, here is a formula we are very familiar with: a equals to pi times r squared. You know that this is an equation to calculate the area of a circle based on its radius. But if you look at it as a function, this equation presents a relation between the radius of a circle r and the area of the circle a, and how the area of the circle depends on the radius. So this is a function with independent variable radius and dependent variable area. In this class, we will mostly focus on this type of functions that can be described by equations. Hopefully, at this point, you have already had some understanding of functions. If you think deeply, you will realize that for any specified independent variable value, it can not have more than one corresponding dependent variable value. For example, for this function that relates the radius of the circle to its area, for a given radius, the circle cannot have two different areas. Its area is determined exactly by this equation. Or for this function. That relates the temperature to the time of the day. At any given time point, you cannot have two different temperatures. From the previous example, if we collect all the independent variable values into one set and all the dependent variable values into another set, the relation between these two sets is the function. And what the function does is to match each independent variable value to a dependent variable value like this. Once again, a specified independent variable value is matched with exactly one dependent variable value. Like at any given time, there is one and only one temperature, but 
one dependent variable value can be matched with more than one independent variable values. For example, the temperature 81 degree is matched with two times, which means that at two different times, the temperatures are the same, and this is perfectly reasonable. Also, the collection of all the allowable independent variable values is known as the domain for this function, and the collection for all the resulting dependent variable values is known as the range for this function, which we will talk about more in a later video.